This is our second uh, annual Pride Portland uh, 2015 launch party. Launch party is something to get the whole community excited about this year's Pride um, celebration. Uh, we're here to uh, celebrate some of the entertainment that we're going to see over the course of Pride Week uh, and also introduce our marshals for the parade. The full 10-day schedule of events gets released tonight, so tonight's a little teaser just to kind of get people excited for the 10 days of Pride coming up in June. So today we're going to have a lot of our performers are going to be people that are um, like-minded. Um, some are within our community. Uh, we're going to have um, uh, people that are singers, people that our dancers, people that have fashion, and it just, you know, it's a big celebration of, uh, of our pride. We have two different burlesque troops who are performing tonight, one of them being strip wrecked. Um, we also have a fashion show with Jack Tar, which is a, um, a body positive, gender positive fashion uh, blog and um, political commentary. And um, let's see, we have Lady Zen and Aquarius Funk are both performing tonight. Um, just a lot of really great local talent. We're going to tell people who our parade uh, marshals are. Uh, this year it's Gia Drew, um, who happens to be the program coordinator at Equality Maine. Uh, she's also the co-chair, uh, or she's the chair actually, of the uh, Maine Transnet, Transnet so, uh, Network. Main Transgender Network. And our other um, parade marshal is Doug Kimmel. Um, and Doug is um, one of the founders, national founders of SAGE, which is um, support and advocacy for gay elders. Um, and he brought that organization to Maine uh, and has been a, a powerhouse in our community. And so it's really a nice honor, um, both of them, to honor them with being marshals in this year's parade. Last year we had, um, we had close to, uh, I think we had at one time over 600 people in this room at one time and then towards the end it got to a point that they if two people left they had to have two people come in there was a line out the door and that's what we celebrate that's what we're expecting tonight and last year was a Thursday night which was different than tonight and you know because everybody mostly sleeps in on the weekend and they don't have to go to work on Friday uh, but uh, so we're hoping that it's going to be a, a unbelievable crowd crowded amount of people here tonight. I think that one of the reasons that a party put on by the queer community is so much fun and has such a great draw is that um, it costs us something to do this. It costs us something to say, hey, we're a bunch of gay people getting together in one place. Come celebrate with us. Come be a part of this community with us. It's not just another Friday night drinking at the bar. We all like work and volunteer together. It's very easy and very flowing. And it's not difficult, not dealing with difficult people or high maintenance people. It's very easy to work with these volunteers. This would not happen without an amazing group of, uh, of people who all volunteer their time. Um, our performers tonight, the entire Pride Committee, we have five work teams and a steering committee of 15 people that work all year long to make sure that Pride happens. Um, our community uh, sponsors, um, we couldn't do this without their financial and in-kind support. Um, Port City Music Hall and the State Theater have been just amazing to work with, so we're so lucky to have the venues that they offer to us. Um, so it's really a, a community effort. It's not about one person or another person. We couldn't do this without the whole entire community. It's worth it the moment that you volunteer, you know? It's really, it's, it's, uh, it's important for me to be a part of my community and celebrate. For us, it's really the sense of community that's so important. Um, and the fact that, you know, we are, especially in the Portland area, uh, the LGBT community is so significant and, um, and this is a chance for us to come together um, and celebrate what's unique about our entire community, um, share those experiences with each other, and then really look forward to and keep an eye on what work is continuing to, uh, that needs to be done. Uh, that's, that's also so important in making sure that we celebrate our history, but also look forward to say, hey, we're all still here, um, and to be as cliche as possible, we're still queer, and, uh, and we're really excited about what the future holds for us. Pride 
celebration to me is about bringing together a community that has um, historically been oppressed and has come to a place where we can celebrate out in the open thanks to our predecessors who went through riots and jails and beatings and all of these horrible things um, in order for us to be able to walk down the street proudly, you know, waving our flags and, and saying, you know, we're here, we're queer, get used to it. Um, we can do that now safely because of, of the people in the past. Website is super simple, um, www.prideportland.org. Um, our whole schedule will be up there this weekend. Uh, and so we have some of most events. I think we've got 24 events this year. Um, and all but three or four of them are free. Um, so we're really excited about that. And then for the ones that are not free, we um, people will need to get tickets for them. Those tickets will be available this weekend too. It's important to me and the <clears throat> people who are here today, I know it's important to them too. It's a great party. Gays know how to do a party. <laughs>